Spira sequencing is a DNA sequencing method. In this video lecture, you will learn the given concepts. Before going into the details of this DNA sequencing, we must understand what happens when a new DNA strand is synthesized on a template strand. During DNA synthesis, a phosphodiester bond is formed between the last nucleotide of the growing strand and the incoming complementary nucleotide. As a result, pyrophosphate is released. Thus, it is clear to us that every time a complementary nucleotide is incorporated in a strand being synthesized, a pyrophosphate will be released. Later, we will see that this pyrophosphate is detected in pyro sequencing and forms the basis for the determination of the DNA sequence of the template strand. Now it's time to understand how the pyrophosphate released during DNA synthesis is detected. The pyrophosphate is detected by an enzyme cascade reaction that results in the emission of light. The emission of light confirms that a pyrophosphate has been released. Let's understand the reactions. This is a pyrophosphate. When this pyrophosphate combines with another substrate known as adenosine phosphosulfate, in the presence of an enzyme ATP sulfurylase, ATP is generated. In the next reaction, this ATP is utilized by the enzyme luciferase for the conversion of luciferin to oxaluciferin and production of light. Thus, the pyrophosphate released during DNA synthesis can be detected by the emission of light. This detection of pyrophosphate is the basis of DNA sequencing, and hence the name pyrosequencing. Let's now understand the requirements for pyrosequencing. Firstly, we need a DNA fragment that we want to sequence. This DNA fragment will be our template strand. This DNA fragment is engineered at one end with a sequence that is complementary to a primer. So, obviously, our second requirement is the primer. Our third requirement is of deoxynucleotides. Here you can see that normal DATP is replaced by DATP alpha S that is, deoxyadenosine alpha theotriphosphate. This replacement is necessary. This is because enzyme luciferase also uses ATP to produce light. To avoid false signals of pyrophosphate detection during pyro sequencing, this replacement is done. The ATP alpha S is used by DNA polymerase but not by luciferase. The fourth requirement is enzyme DNA polymerase for new strand synthesis. Other substrates required are adenosine phosphosulfate and luciferin. Other enzymes required are ATP sulfurylase and luciferase. An enzyme known as a pyrase is also needed. This enzyme removes unused nucleotides and thus, it is a nucleotide degrading enzyme. Let's now look at the sequence of events involved in pyrosequencing. In the first step, the DNA fragment of unknown sequence is taken. As we said before, this DNA sequence is engineered at one end that is, complementary to a known primer. This DNA fragment serves as DNA template strand and, it is incubated with the primer. The primer binds to its complementary sequence on the DNA template strand. In the next step, DNA polymerase is added. Along with the other enzymes and substrates required for the detection of pyrophosphate. After that, one of the four types of nucleotides is added. Here note that only one type of nucleotide is added at a time. That means, if we are adding DCTP then the solution of nucleotide we are adding, contains only DCTP molecules. If the added nucleotide is incorporated in the new strand, pyrophosphate will be released, and emission of light will take place. This light is detected by a detector, and later used to interpret the unknown sequence. 
the details of this we will see shortly. But if, the added nucleotide is not incorporated then, there will be no pyrophosphate and, therefore no light emission. This happens when the incoming nucleotide is not complementary to the nucleotide of the template strand. Now in both the cases, whether the nucleotide is incorporated or not, extra or unused nucleotide will be present. These extra nucleotides are now removed from the reaction. This is done by adding enzyme apirase, the nucleotide degrading enzyme. After the degradation of unused and extra nucleotides is complete, pyrosequencing reaction starts again with the addition of next nucleotide. This process is repeated, adding each nucleotide one after the other until the synthesis is complete. So, we understand that, every time a complementary nucleotide is added, emission of light will take place. Let's say this is the unknown DNA sequence. This is the engineered end of the sequence. And this is the primer. This table shows the sequence of DNTPs added one by one. Recall that, the ATP is replaced by the ATP alpha S in pyrosequencing. So, let's say first we added the ATP alpha S. As you can see, it will be not incorporated because, it is not complementary to G. There will be no pyrophosphate and no light emission. This we will represent by minus sign. Next, DCTP is added. Being complementary to G, it is incorporated in the strand and pyrophosphate is released. Therefore, light emission takes place. This is represented by A plus sign. Similarly, we can work this out for the remaining nucleotides. Now, here you can see that when DGTP is added, there are three plus signs. The amount of light generated is proportional to the number of nucleotides that are added. The light intensity for G nucleotide near the end is three times higher than the light intensity for the single G nucleotide. This light emission in pyrosequencing is represented graphically to interpret the sequence. The y-axis of this graph represents the light intensity. And the x-axis represents the sequence in which nucleotides are added. The peaks in the graph also give an idea about the number of same nucleotides present in the sequence. So, the sequence of the strand that is synthesized during pyrosequencing is, C, T, A, C, T, A, G, 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 A. The sequence of the template strand will be complementary to this. Thus, the sequence of the unknown DNA fragment is found using pyrosequencing. I hope this lecture is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.